rescued. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? Back to the point where we last left off. So, go to the left first. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do. Based on how this is reinforced, it probably contains dilithium. Straight ah, phaser blast can cause a piezoelectric rupture and blow a hole in the ship. Better be careful. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Yeah, apologies for OBS freezing a little bit. Okay. For how uptight the Elidians are, the cargo bay is kind of a mess. Huh. Elidian consoles still have mechanical keyboards as a backup. So is that all over here? I don't know, we missed... Oh, we missed quite a bit behind us as well. Okay. Must do the, uh... Behind us first next time. Ourselves. Lydians must supplement main system power with these. No time to look over here. I better follow Major Arminta. I can get round to doing the uh, round of the Vichia video. I think this was here. Time Made it a lot easier to transport across the ship. This we took will another be the second top of my random. list because I really enjoyed this game. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with any of other Star Trek games or anything wrong with Star Trek Online, but Star Trek Online could be a heck of a lot better if you put these graphics and detail into it. Airtight and climate control. But there is another one coming out where they put the either later this year or I think next year. We have Star Trek Infinite. I'm not quite sure what that game is going to be. But it is a Star Trek game. And it does look good, I gotta say. Up there? Alright, I do apologize it's for right, let's being do this. The internal so sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that I'm perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, uh, even for me. Not, not too high for our faces. Low power. Yeah. Let's not set off any fire alarms. And they said I got the ones over here. Two weeks of repairs, but it's lasted nearly four weeks now. So, quick could you fire sense. So, phaser. L L two. Press the final first, but I'll go to and use the right left analog stick to acquire the target. Got one. Press R2 to fire. Down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only 
One left. One left? Where? Because I don't see it. Where is it? Because I'm missing it. won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. For all we know, she was trapped, watching it happen. Fighting it the whole time. The person who shot at us wasn't Miranda. Don't think for a second that she turned on us. Because I don't. Neither do I. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent, doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. There is no such thing as just one life, and she is not lost. This isn't calculus. You can't just break Ooh, it down by the numbers. It. Perhaps that's why my Admiral and everyone else in the final transport was lost. The problem with your calculus. Our losses are mounting. Yours are just beginning. We're stuck on this ship, same as you. I'm blocked out of helm control. Propulsion? And they're closing down systems faster than I can check them. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. something. I can see the course they have plotted in. The Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. The Zeldi, that's where we are. That's not exactly news. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines! 
They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship, so that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? It's Tosca. Is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, mm. I think we'll be able to There's overpower no one them and take back the ship. Are you still, still there? There's still crew left on board. Katarsky. So are you still there? Support to the uh, USS Resolute. You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hatari have been transforming people on this ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask. Are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. Trust goes both ways. We trust you. We trust us. I'll go with that. Until you give me reason not to. That guy is trench. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. Also could be a trap. So now we're back on the planet with the captain and the first officer. Unmasking. Approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidians. A warp-disrupting beam originating from Tau was holding our ship hostage. This is a farce. You never had any intention of negotiating a peaceful resolution to this conflict. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Voltari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. That makes no sense. What did they do to you? They convinced us that this was the best deal we were going to get. I thank you for coming. 
But the sooner the Federation leaves, it did they want the, the hell we will, Captain. About my crew trapped aboard that ship, or what you did to my security team, the data you stole. I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Otari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. Whoops, Captain. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. The Federation's only interest was the peaceful resolution of this conflict. We believe everyone has the fundamental right to live their lives as they choose. Spare me your primitive altruism. The Federation involves itself because it has the power to do so. Without power, the Federation would have nothing. Let's not kid ourselves. Peace is the last thing they want. Commander Rydak saw what you did in those mines. How you bioformed innocent people against their will and turned them into Takan. Takan. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Takonians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was what's ours. So it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. You do realize this will never work. The Federation will stop you no matter what it takes. Will they? From what I can tell, the Federation is little more than a loose assemblage of the weak and the misguided. But I certainly invite them to try. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Seize them. Get us out of here. Now! Ride it to Resident. Beam us out. You ever done something like this before? Close oh, quarters combat, infiltrating an enemy stronghold. Just something like that. I once spent six days crawling through sewers during the siege of Tofar Ket to retake the citadel there. That's just one of many campaigns I've served in. I'm glad we're here with you. We need your kind of experience. I should say you do. And I'll be glad to have Lieutenant Itasca with us. She fought shoulder to shoulder with me in that siege. So you're pretty close, huh? She's like... A daughter to me. She's saved my life more than once. She's more than just a comrade in arms. That must mean she's a good soldier. The very best. We saved your life. What does that make us? We aren't out of danger yet. But once we have my comrades, proper soldiers, we'll be able to retake the bridge. Then, our fleets will catch up to us. The ATP is just down that corridor. I have a feeling it's a trap. Could be wrong, but I have a feeling it's a trap. Is this the artillery platform? This is the power distribution for the forward armament cluster.
combat here. Disruptor burns on the walls. I can see why they're trapped in there. But that's gonna be just as hard for us to cross. We'll need to find a way to get in there and shut down the power. The distribution conduits have been knocked loose. The currents in those lines could be lethal. Is there any way to power those down? Each circuit has a control panel that regulates power to the magneto banks. I can track connections between the power lines and the control panels. I should be able to clear a safe path to your crew. We'll get the door open here. to get to that conduit is that way.
this side.
mystery cell. I think. Yeah. damage out here they backed us into a corner we did that to drive them out put some space between us and the enemy they're here get down i think they've given up on capture we'll never make it if we go back that way you give me a hand with this Keep them busy. Back to the combat. 
Let the enemy take them. Hadri and Private Turo. They weren't the only ones. But if we hadn't, it would have been all of us. I'll have to live with that, and I'll answer for it when I die. It's not the Illidian way to leave one of our own behind. It's a sin to do so. You did what you had to do. I know it. We all do. And we knew it would come to this. Hadri knew. 
When we were in there, trapped, we agreed we had to live to fight. We said if one of us was taken, the others wouldn't stop. We'd keep going, make our way to the bridge. They died so we could fight on. The Takan don't want them dead. They want to steal their bodies. And steal their minds. The Takan knows everything the host knows. That means they know our plan. They know we're heading to the bridge. General Quarters. Tylus, you should be in sickbay. I'll finish this. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? It went about as well as could be expected, under the circumstances. Oh, well, that's a relief, because I was fearing the worst. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal, that the Elidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then... Is that true? There is a deal. The Elidians did agree to peace, and the Hotari have retained control of the mines. That's incredible. I, I never thought it was possible. How did that happen? It all looked so bleak. I thought the Elidians would never agree. My sense is the Elidians wanted to avoid all-out war. Good for them. They deserve more credit than I thought. And the Queen? How was she? She must be thrilled there was a deal. I think so. She seemed... fine. But, of course, you know her far better than I do. Of course. And the threat from the Takan, they... Yellow, alert. Commander Rydick, we need you on the bridge immediately. Yellow alert. Jibs up. Things are about to get heavy. We've got an Olydian ship, the Veskar, rapidly bearing down on our position. Or what was the Veskar? Now I'm not so sure. Bring it up on the view screen. 600 kilometers in closing. Still coming straight for us. Hmm. Commander? Have you tried hailing them? Try it. Hailing the Elydian ship now. No response. 400 kilometers in closing. Shields up. Ready, phasers. Shields up. Phasers ready. Incoming! Forward, lock phasers and open fire! Heavy damage! But deflectors still at full power? That bypassed our shields entirely! That's impossible! God damn it, return fire! Everything we've got! Right it! Modulate the shield frequencies! See if you can get us any cover! Commander, I, I got this. Just keep firing. That doesn't make sense. I'll try another. There! We've got incoming! How do they keep matching our shield frequency? They couldn't. Unless... They've compromised our shield algorithms. They can bypass our shields at will. What? Ah. Ah. Captain! He's out cold! Why'd they stop? Damage report. Running on emergency power. Major hull damage on decks four through seven. Warp core is stable and intact. We're completely vulnerable. Commander, we're being held by the Beskar. It's Galvin. On screen. Commander Rydak. Where's your captain? Not dead, I hope. Sorry to disappoint you, but he's alive and well. 
Good. I wouldn't want him to miss out on any of us. So if I choose the other option next time, I have to give be, you uh, credit, Commander. A slight. You survived difference. longer than I thought you would. But make no mistake, your shields are useless. Your weapons ineffective. And there's nothing you can do. I could destroy you at any moment. But I'd rather hear your pleas for mercy first. Your existence is entirely in my hands. If you want to destroy us, then I invite you to do your worst. We'd rather die with honor than beg for your mercy. You may just get your wish. I've been thinking about what you said, Commander. That the Federation would stop me no matter what. Your performance in this encounter has not supported that claim. The Veskar's weapons are powering up. Appreciate your mercy. And you rely on it. I've lost their signal. Can you track their warp signature? Nothing. It's untraceable. Just like before. Notify Ambassador Spock. I want everyone in the briefing room to discuss our options. What's the status of the repairs? Hull breach should be patched up in a matter of hours. Impulse power is at 67%. Should be fully restored soon. Still no luck tracking Galvin's warp signature. They've all but disappeared. Keep trying. Finding that son of a bitch is the best shot we've got. Commander Rydick, you had the con after the ship was attacked. What is your assessment? Given our current situation, and the losses we have suffered. It would appear we are severely outmatched. In that case, we might have an option. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. If anyone could find Galvin, it would be him. That's assuming he's willing to help us. True, but there's only one way to find out. Wouldn't we need to secure authorization from the Federation Council to contact him? The nearest Federation outpost is Andoria. I can travel there by shuttle and inform them personally of the threat from the Takan. Meanwhile, the Resolute can travel to the Delphi Ardu system in search of Portal 63. I still have my doubts. I do not. Captain William T. Riker has first hand experience with the area and with Portal 63. His guidance will prove invaluable and should alleviate your concerns. Delphi Ardu 4 is a restricted zone for good reason. For all we know, we could be walking into a trap. Not to mention the high likelihood Portal 6-3's allegiance will be with the Takan. It's just too much of a risk. A waste of time. Time we can't afford to lose. According to Commander Riker's records of meeting Portal 6-3, he was willing to listen to reason. We may be able to convince him that Galvin is wrong. Or he'll just be happy to learn his civilization is making a comeback. In which case, we only compound the problem. I am inclined to agree with Commander Rydek. Her logic is sound. This portal may have knowledge that proves to be invaluable, including information on the nature of the Cartabula. We must act on the facts at hand. Then we'll give it our best. I'll arrange a meeting with Captain Riker. And I will speak with the Council. They need to understand the magnitude of the situation. I can leave for Andoria immediately. I wish you luck finding Portal 63. The very future of the Federation may rest in your hands. 
It takes a minimum of eight crew on the bridge to run the ship, so we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. Which means everyone needs to be ready for... Take cover! Ambush! Now what? We need that door sealed. If you can handle that, where do you need us? There's an access panel there. You should be able to patch into the local system. We'll be shot getting them. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! Out of ammo? 
Stego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. Yes. At least you can't have made a move. Yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. program. This control station won't do us any good. These crystals are Takan technology. They seem to be active. Just 
like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. I thought you had the access codes needed to take control back. I should, but I can't actually get to the surface. So I can't enter them here. The overriding code is blocking me at the other station. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. It explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? Is the high speed, doesn't it? Whether it's these crystals or the power from the cartabula, the Takana found a way to increase the engine output at top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going and enact the next phase of their plan. That is if they don't destroy us all first. That's just two sides of the same coin. It's what? Either way, we both want to stop the Zeldi. Ah, yes. And we will find a way to do it. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Until he touched it. The weapons must be biocoded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Armitan. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. The Titan's communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. You need to see this. The report on the data breach. Damn. It's worse than I'd hoped. They didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. So we're completely defenseless against the Takan. No, Takan, worse than the ball. It looks that way, yes. I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this shield business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker, this is my first officer, Commander Jara Ryder. Oh, wow. My pleasure. Nice. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. <laughs> nice. So do I, although nicely you and I have actually done. met before. We have. 
I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. I am curious to hear what she says, though. My job is to support the captain, carry out his orders, and ensure his safety, even if I disagree with him. I like that. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the prime directive or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 63. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 6-3 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He can appear as a man or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. From the report, it seems he wields an incredible amount of power. More than you can imagine. He's able to reach out and grab hold of starships like that and let them go just as easily. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Tikkan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools, and he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. Do you think he will go against his own people? He was proud of his empire. He called us barbarians. Maybe you can find a way to make him see these people claiming to be Takan aren't real Takan. They're, they're corrupting his legacy. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these Takan ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research, battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division at Starfleet Tactical, devising new ways to take on the board. Trust me, this isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. You're not the only one who's met the Takan anymore. We've faced them in combat. We're not just the right ones for the job. We're the only ones. All right. Asked and answered. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu on roof. Your advice is well taken, Captain Riker. No matter what he throws at us, we'll stand up to this Takan Guardian. I'm sure you will. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. It's a one would be even cooler for the frozen C and G crew. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that Khan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all? <laughs> We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing nice to report as right now. That's it. Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet Shield algorithms. Uh, the Shield algorithms? Free. That Shoot could jeopardize every ship bomb. in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. 
we don't want to raise alarms so necessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 6-3 and find those to con before this gets out of control. Ouch. Break her out. I specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. Riker's ship is at risk. They all are. I can't believe you would want to keep that from him. That's one more thing I'll have to answer for. Now I have to think about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. It's the Automated Federation warning buoy. Transmitting the disable code Captain Riker provided. That was unpleasant. Commander Ermont, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this outrageously powerful Takan being? I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? Prep your way, team. I don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. If he's not an asset, he's an enemy. He'll be ready for anything. Keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. I liked you a lot better when you were Ryan Kapoor. A pain in the ass sometimes, but a stand up guy when it counted. You weren't friends with the one who gave up this body. He didn't give it, you took it. And all the others. My name is Zan Losa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Mokto. I am but one of many. We who took a leap of faith across the Bridge of Time to be reborn in these bodies. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. And the Cartapia that produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Aphelion, we won't need a fleet. The Aphelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. And when you wake the Aphelion, what are you going to do with it? Anything we want. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <laughs> it's coming alive. He can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. will come here for you. This is a dead end. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Not if they're just going to start it again. So you believe him? I'm not sure. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, they will come. I expect you'll all act like the savages you are at a battle We've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good. 
And he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I'm not going to torture them. Trophy not like this. Devised. But there's got to be something we can work with here. This area here? Power generation. The warp cores. It's deserted. This fast, it would be too dangerous to force a warp collapse by cracking one of the propulsion coils. That could rupture the hull, end up damaging the cartabula in the process. And that risks tearing a hole in space. We can't have that. What's this? This display shows the location of the Jacon on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are, the central artery of ship systems, sensors, propulsion, weapons. Doesn't seem to be working here. This is weird. Engine status. Right. The warp cores are still practically redlined. However, they've supercharged the Zeldi. It still relies on existing systems. They just amplify the output? But the Takan have already interfaced with those systems. The controls will be no use. So we'd have to find a way to manually shut down the warp cores. Might not be a manual shutdown as much as it'll be sabotage. No one appears to be guarding it. I think I can get us there. But once we're in, do you really think you can cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask. You just worry about getting us there. I'll handle the rest. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here. Now. This is how we do the most good for the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost <laughs> hoped you'd made it off. And Nilly's there with you too, right? Believe me, I don't want to be here either. It looks like neither of us get our way. But Carter... I am going to get my way. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge, lost for half a million years, that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life. And I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. You have Miranda's voice, but you're not her. And you don't know me. Of course I do. I remember... Well, I remember everything. I remember us. So I'll just explain the reality of what you're up against. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. What, you think there's some sort of compromise to be had here? After all you've done? The only end of this is when you surrender. After all we've done? You can't think we'd give up now. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge. Very soon. Our comm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it. Got it. Mine's done too. Time to hit the road.
You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. We've managed this far without doing it your way. We are hardly in control of this situation. Solve the problem of what to do with him. Now let's move him. Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 6-3. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's... quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Already gave it a scan. Dead. Fine, Whole planet feels three. like it's been turned to stone. Is the objective? Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those duridium levels? Good. Last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Follow me. Ends here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? There was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. Worth a try. I'm sure that wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology, but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. <laughs> Duval to Resolute. 
Beam Krumen LaRue directly to medical. Is he okay? Yeah. He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. Okay. You should try quarter to find the tetramity crystals and shoot them with a phaser. Okay. Wrong one. That one. Tetrametric. Good sign. Commander! Look at that. Trust, but verify. Indeed. We don't have any data about what's below the surface on Delphi Ardu 4. And I don't feel a particularly strong urge to find out. Then that makes two of us. More crystals. Need a way across. Aside from the breathable atmosphere, this is a remarkably inhospitable planet. Traces indicate there was once living flora, but it's been dead so long it's practically turned to stone. From what Portal told Riker, it was an outpost to defend the far edge of the Takan Empire. Well, it's not that now. Now, it's a grave. Okay. If it's none of them, where is the crystal then? Good.
Tetrametric. <laughs> Better go see what's different. Scam that. You scam them.
failed. Shot the wrong go see what's different. Yeah, I know that. But you're not giving me the right goddamn crystal. Crystal out of range. I'm not quite following what it is you're trying to get me to do. Yeah, I know that, but where is the last crystal? Because I've scanned every crystal that is. And the other crystals you want me to scan are out of range, so tell me where I'm supposed to scan. I'll scan it. Seriously.
Go see what's different.
Let's turn the up, guys, because the last crystals that I've got visible out there, but yet it's telling me that I was range, and I can't get range on the strike war. So I don't know how it expects me to
way's clear. Good work, Commander. We'll make sure it's safe. Incredible. The plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far, only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Deval to Resolute. Lock transporter on away team. this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped had enough sense to leave of your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian. I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. Don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'll cut right to it. The Takan have returned. Returned? My people have come back? How can that be? I've been alone for so long. If it is true, how did they return? Taconian technology made it possible to enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. We call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Scions of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takan. They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Tacon immortality. You want me to help you destroy them? That's why you've come. You want to destroy these Scions. You don't have to do anything except help us find them. If that's all you want to do. <laughs> I don't believe that. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. What are you doing? Where's my team? They're safe where we left them.
That the science have stolen the Cartabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John Rydeck. to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Tikon. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. But I'm not alone in the Federation. I'm a part of something larger, just like your Takan Empire was. We are not the same. spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Coblia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. The only reason any of my people are still alive, why I am still alive, is because the federation helped us. We would have been extinct decades ago without the Duridium the Federation gave us. If anything, I owe them gratitude. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Dakon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. The betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. These aren't the Dakon you knew. They're a facsimile. They're imposters and they tarnish the Takan name. We faced these questions in my time as well. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn Takan plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many 
could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. The Takan Empire is gone. It had its opportunity and proved unable to survive. There must have been a reason the Takan have faded to a distant memory. It ran its course. And those of us who are here now deserve to choose our own fate. You said the Takan vanished for a reason. I cannot claim our empire was without sin. I'm curious to see the science masquerading as true Takan. So I will go with you and we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takan to understand their true intentions. That's good enough for me. Very well. I'll return to you. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. She's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. We can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools? Team plus one, ready to beam up. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. But where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. All that talk about being soldiers, and look what it comes down to. You need a couple of engineers. Yes, we do. Lucky for you, that's our specialty. You at least know where we should start? This way. So we've got this up attached to warp cords.
we dealing with? There we go. Output since we left Otari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. Console. we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? War core ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. They've locked out the controls here too. No surprise there. I can't release it. So if we want to get the core out, we'll have to force the system to do it. Or trick it. Safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Do whatever you have to do to make sure we have the time to finish. Anything? Within reason. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. Tools, 
But our phasers can do this in a pinch. We better get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom. We don't know how much damage that cartabula will do. There goes the galaxy. Could be that bad. We'll get it right. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere.
died. Try that again. What? No! Get the wolf done. We're all dead. grounds of Sorella.
not you too. Calm yourself, child. Among us, back above the resolute. There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. Actually, the Resolute is one of our state-of-the-art starships. <laughs> that must be some sort of contemporary humor. She's loaded with the latest and greatest technology in the galaxy. I've never felt more unsafe. Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps, ultimately, our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No, I'm right here, completely in my mind. And with all due respect to your advanced technology, the simple fact is that I won't be able to locate him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. That's going to be a problem. Then I'm sorry. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. We'll talk to Captain Solano about it. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. I've learned it's a very prestigious position in Takan society. Or was, I suppose. Not just anyone is selected for the role. And fewer still are suited for it. How impressive. 
You spent 600,000 years at your posts. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what, exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. And we do need your help. Absolutely. And we are grateful that you decided to come. And your captain has an odd way of expressing his gratitude. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. Why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? I didn't promise him anything. That I can confirm. In fact, she knew there'd be resistance. I didn't realize it would be rooted in such ignorance. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Rydeck, a word. waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation. But for me personally, I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. Captain, you have my word. I will do everything within my power to protect you. I appreciate that. It's not just my career on the line here. It's both of ours. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will found it something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades Cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. 
Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar, set a course for the Palisades cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. They say the true measure of a leader is being able to admit your mistakes. So thank you. Next time I'll do a better job of listening. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. You're sure it's Taconian? It couldn't be something else causing the interference? Nothing else operates on that frequency. I'm positive. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to leave it until next week. I will see you for part four on the 6th of July at the usual time of 8 p.m. So, until then, guys, thank you for watching Avalanche Mall Media. I have been Tommy. You have been gaming on Avalanche Mall Media.